So electron configurations for some of these. Uh, titanium is in the fourth column, the second column of the transition metals. So it would be a 4s2, 3d2. We're just going to do this. Uh, usually I just tell people the fourth and the ninth column are the columns that we look for the exceptions. There could be more, but we don't look for them in the fourth and the ninth column of transition metals. For vandium, neutral, it would be three, uh, 4s2, 3d3. Right, if it was neutral, but it's 3 plus. So we're going to lose three electrons. Usually electrons go first from the s. So we'll lose one, two, and then one of those. So when you're losing, you want to remember, let's take it from the S first. That's typically what happens. There could be some exceptions for sure, but we'll just go with that. Chromium neutral is in the sixth column. So it's a 4S2, 3D4. Uh, and since it's in, and it's the fourth column of the transition metals, so really you should write 4S1, 3D5. So the fourth and ninth column of the transition metals, you write like this. Now I'm losing two electrons, so I'm going to lose this one anyways. And one of these. So when you go to the plus two, here's going to the plus three. Uh, you lose one of the S and one of the these, so it's 3D4. This one, when you're in the fourth or ninth column, so that's the chromium column or the copper column, chromium in the copper column, you write only one for the S. It's just a pattern that happens. It, it makes it so it fills a little bit more nicely for the transition element. Okay, and then it doesn't matter, you'd get the same answer. Because if you lost two from here, it's, you'd still get three before. So th these are what I would call like a D4 or a D2, the number of electrons you have to play with.